Hi, this is Roshin from Sweet Eve Signs and today I'm going to show you how to design this adorned God Bless cake topper in Cricut Design Space. So first we're going to start with a cross. I'll put the image number in the description. So bring it into the design space onto the canvas and first I'm going to start by changing the colour. This is an optional step but it just helps me to visualise the project a bit more. Now I'm going to enlarge the cross. This will just make it easier to work with. Now I'm going to search for the font Aldean, which is a Cricut Design Space font, so no need to download anything. I will put the information in the description box. So I'm going to start out writing the text, God bless. But you could of course use any text that you want to. Then I'm just going to make it slightly smaller just so it's easier to work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and ungroup these letters. Then I'm going to move all of the individual letters to make them closer together. Once I've done this, it's really important to make sure that you align at the bottom. This will ensure that all the text lines up along the bottom. And then you're going to group the text back together. So now you want to move the text across to your cross and you just want to make sure that you're happy with the positioning of the letters and the spacing before you start with the offset. So now I'm going to type out the text for the name. Again, it's up to you. You can decide how you want to lay out your text and if you want to use a name or not. And then I'm going to repeat exactly the same process. Make it slightly smaller, ungroup, and then move the letters closer together. Align at the bottom and then group again. Now you'll need to resize your name to make sure that it fits nicely on your cross. And then you want to also make sure that it aligns well with the God Bless or any other text that you're using. And then select both of the texts and make sure that you centre horizontally. This will make sure that they're in line and move them slightly closer together because you want to make sure that they're not too far apart. This will help the offset to connect the two sets of words. Now you can just position and resize until you're happy with where the text is sitting on the cross. And again, make sure that you center horizontally with the cross because then you can see how it will look. Hide the cross and then enlarge the text as big as you can get it. The reason I do this is because it helps to have a more intricate offset. Then apply your first offset. Try 0.1. Now apply the same offset two more times. Align, center and group the main words and the offsets. And then resize it. I'm going to change the colors to make sure that they match my theme. As this is a really simple topper, I'm actually only going to be using three types of cardstock. White glitter, gold mirror, and then a marble card. Now group and unhide your cross. And now you can start to resize and reposition until you're happy with where everything sits. Align all and center horizontally. I actually then decided to unlock the words and make them slightly higher but kept the same width. You can just mess around with it until you are happy with where it sits. And then align and centre horizontally. Now we're going to work on the offset for the crosses. So to do this, make the cross as large as you can and try an offset of 0.1. Apply the same offset four more times. In total, you should have six crosses. Now resize and make them smaller. and then just adjust your new offset crosses and send them to the back. Move your text to a position that you're happy with. 
and then go ahead and change the colours of the offset crosses to match the rest of your theme. Now go ahead and duplicate. And then hide the original cross. Now weld your text together. Now we're going to grab our welded text and our first cross and we're going to weld these two together and we're going to duplicate. Use your right hand panel, it's really going to help you with this process. Now we're going to grab the welded cross at the front and we're going to weld it with the second layer and we're going to duplicate. Make sure to send this to the back. So we're going to repeat this process with the next three layers. You grab the welded cross at the front with the one that's behind and weld them together and duplicate, making sure to send to the back. For the last layer, you don't need to duplicate, you can just select both and weld and then send it to the back. This will mean that all of your crosses are now welded with the text which will make your topper not only sturdier, but will give it more dimension. Now go ahead and unhide your original cross. And what we want to do here is ungroup, duplicate the text and weld it together. This is just going to give us an additional layer to add some more dimension to our cake topper and then centre the back, align, centre and group. Now you can move this text over to the other cross that has the welded text crosses within it. Now ungroup the crosses on the right and you're just going to need to keep that front one. That's going to be the cross that we adorn. You can just go ahead and send this to the back and then send your text to the front and align it. And then group it all together. Now, as this is quite a heavy topper, I would suggest that you make sure that you duplicate the back layer. This will just ensure that not only can you hide the stick, but that it gives it a bit more stability. And that's your adorned cross cake topper done. Make sure to check out my assembly video, which will be coming next week. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And check out all of my other tutorials. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for watching, take care and bye.